welcome to another great adventure of the Outdoor Wildlife Adventure Series. This is episode number three, and I'm here as your host, Heike Loop. And uh, it's morning time on a Sunday, the 30th of June, 2014. And uh, over the last few days, I had the privilege and honor of interviewing some of the people who take care of the cats out here in the woods. They are feral cats, a colony of feral cats who live in this patch. They have about five places that they go feed cats in this particular patch of woods, which is one of the locations. They also have a family of raccoons that live not too far from the colony of cats that live out here in the woods. And it's, it's a great relationship and I am documenting uh, the events and the, the lives of the, uh, the colony of the feral cats along with the uh, raccoon family of raccoons. Just three days ago there were uh, two little baby raccoons released out here. Well I'm not really sure as far as what happened with the mother raccoon. I don't know if the mother raccoon has been trapped, killed, but uh, somebody had called one of the maintenance workers at a uh, development not far from here and told them that they saw two baby raccoons just wandering and they were trapped. They, were, uh, they notified the lady, uh, said, my friend uh, Rebecca, the cat lady, the wonderful cat lady Rebecca, they had notified her to let her know because she is one of, of uh, two people that come and feed the cats out here to let her know that they were going to release two baby raccoons and hopefully uh, the mother, being she's nursing, would take these two baby raccoons in. We have our fingers crossed uh, that the mother will take these babies in, but since they, they have been released, we have not seen them yet. So we're kind of hoping to see them come out of the woods. Hopefully they're okay. So I'm here this morning to document and uh, the raccoon. His name is Cooney the Raccoon, that's the mother, and she's nursing a couple of uh, uh, young uh, babies. So, so here we are, we're calling Cooney the Raccoon to come out, and hopefully he can show his little face here so we can see him. Come on, Cooney. Uh, feeding time, so I hope we can get him to come out for the camera. So we have Rebecca, the wonderful cat lady here, calling them out. So I'm going to get back over there and see what happens. We're going to sit back about 15 feet away so we can see if raccoon will come out. Here we are. I This is the closest I have been to the raccoon. Apparently the raccoon is, is trusting us to get this close. And she's working her way toward us right now. I don't want to get bitten. Beautiful, beautiful raccoon. She's right there. Look at that. Uh, this is the closest I have been. And she's getting close. No, that's the mother. That's not the, is it? Yeah. Yeah? I can see her. Your mama trusts us, I huh? Oh yeah, you're right. That's the gray one. She's walking back out in the woods now. She's disappearing. I happen to really love animals especially raccoons. I think they're great. I know they're not favored by a lot of people and besides squirrels and you know their raccoons are the largest carriers of rabies but these raccoons look pretty healthy. I want to see how close I could get. Hopefully she won't run away. She's, smelling something. She's drinking water now. Yeah. Hey, how are you? How are you? She's smelling something like you just said. I can see her. Mm -hmm. She's got her nose up in the air. She's got her hands in the water, too. Every time I take a step, she's checking me out. And she's smelling. Hopefully those little babies are... Smell something. It's 
got to know. She's probably smelling those little babies that were just released here uh, a few hours ago. It's okay. She's smelling. She's smelling something. That raccoon, that's the mother raccoon. I believe she is smelling those little babies. She's got her nose way up in the air. She's carefree. She's not afraid. and She's not running from us right now. That's a good thing. See how close I can get up to her. And that's one of the reasons I believe she walked away earlier is because she probably wants to come to another area probably where her senses are leading her to where these little babies may be. Looking at me now. Every time the uh, raccoon looks the other way, I take a step. I'll take it off the zoom to show you. Well, that's where the raccoon is. That raccoon is much closer than this camera is uh, actually showing. Let me looking through the, the, the viewfinder. I'm so close. I would say 15 feet away. And this raccoon is definitely smelling something. It's got a nose up in the air. Hello there. How are you? How are you doing? You're a sweet little raccoon. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Look at that. I hope we can find these babies today. Trying to get closer. Checking me out. I'm real close. So close she's beginning to move away. She's right there. Take off the zone. Slowly working our way back into the woods. Okay, uh, this was a wonderful uh, little recording we just made. Recording the, the, the raccoon, which was a mother. She has two siblings, and the two baby raccoons were released this morning, which we are trying to locate. And we have the, the, the raccoon right behind me. Uh, it just came out of nowhere and she's coming to feed. She just, I guess we startled her because we're standing here and we're not really making uh, too many sudden movements. She's right there just checking me out. So, but this is what the whole thing was about coming out here because we got information on two little.